Hi, hello my peeps, I'm a beautiful people. How are you doing? Oh my God, I'm your girl, Auntie Jen. And I'm here for us to just hold a little reasoning. Yes, we are rolling a reasoning. So we still are talking about the Silvera saga, people. And as you know, he went make his for, first court appearance. And the public, the media, neither his family members was allowed into the court room. However, my people, I take keen notice of something. First of all, first of all, Oh my God. I'm just reading the news as I'm doing this. Um, so many sad things happening. But I take a keen notice of Mr. Silver expression coming out of the courtroom. It's like, you know, you know, I'm thinking people, and maybe we overlook this. You know that Mr. Silvera could have, maybe I get off my head. You know, some of you say, no, no, get him, I get off my head. Because I say, the man has come out of the, the, the courthouse, and him, to me, him look happy. I want you to look at it. Look at the picture. Don't he look happy? Is that the same sad face that we saw at the funeral trying to <laughs> trying to sob? The man look as happy as ever to me. However, his daughter and his ex-wife was also there. To give support they were not allowed in the proceeding but they were in the courtroom and his daughter look over you know and saying hi daddy and he didn't respond and that's supposed to hit him that is supposed to hit him to see your daughter seeing you in Knowing the type of people they used to be, and now your dad have to come to the courthouse seeing you over there in handcuffs coming out of a coming out of a police truck, and but but my people, this is something that I observe: his ex-wife. Was in the courtroom. Doesn't it look a little weird to you, my people? Ex-wife in the courtroom. With her daughter to give support. Hmm. Think like what I'm thinking. Was this whole thing a real setup? What happened to Melissa Sylvia? And that maybe, could it also be that he was still seeing his ex-wife? You know, when things happen, you know, people, you have to look at things from all kind of angle. She was there. So what is, what is she anticipating? If he could, if he get away, are you going to say, well, if she's there for moral support for her daughter? Well, I'm going to tell you, if it was me, and my ex get himself in a problem, even though he's guilty until proven, as we would say, I would personally not be a part of it. He would get all the support he want. If he had food, if he want food, I maybe would send food, go give him so on, all of that. But me not be at the first table. I present myself in a case like this when a woman lost her life in such a horrible situation, my people. Take it and look on it. And I learned that all the supporters that goes there were female. It is sending us a message. 
that we not really care, you know. We not care. That another female suffer like that, but we still are going to give strength. I mean, understand we are family and all of that, but some things we just need to just leave it alone. So, my viewers and my subscribers, my question to you is, looking at the picture of Mr. Sylvia coming out of the court, tell me what you think about this man. Tell me exactly what you see from the picture, what you think about the man. And also, what you think about the ex-wife. Tell me what you think about the ex-wife. And the conversation continues. And remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And most of all, the dialogue continues. Type a comment. And we can have a discussion on this. And I will catch you next time. Bye.